In a trip Lindiwe and Dwandwe says she will never forget, the call of nature may very well have saved her life. It's like unbelievable. It's like, I don't know. It's like I went to the dining room to have some meal. And then as soon as I arrived there at the, at the dining room, I just sit next to the lady that I met uh, there in the church. Um, I, I was having my bag, I feel like I can rush it to the toilet. And I'm asking the lady to, 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 to help me to take my bag. And then I just quickly go to the toilet. That's when tragedy struck. Um, when I was there in the toilet, what I, the time I was finished what I was doing, I just heard like uh, the sound of boom. And then after that, when I, when I was um, checking what is dead, uh, I just hear, I just, I just hear the, 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 the wall, like the thing that was coming down. I just shout Jesus. The next minute my wall was on top of me. The six-story building, which was a hostel for foreigners visiting the Synagogue Church of All Nations, had collapsed. 84 out of the 86 people who were killed are South African. Lindiwe and many others survived but were trapped. I heard the people uh, shouting, um, screaming, and the others praying. Lindiwe's ordeal lasted five days. I heard that it is this thing, it's a, cata, it's a caterpillar. And the time it was making like this, I was fearing even more. Until he, he just hit the wall he once, hit the wall twice. For the third time, it was my, my leg was there, and then he next to my leg. And then that is, that is when I heard, bam, the next thing, I just shout and said, please help, please help. It was like a dream to me that for the fifth day of my life, how come? It's, I even asked what the day is that today, and then I could, but because of that light was showing to me that now it's day, now it's night, I could able to count the day that it's fifth day. It was a joy I couldn't believe. It's hard to believe that after five days, anyone could come out of this rubble alive, but Lindiwe says her story is not just one of survival, but also faith. I said, my God, you are the only one who can see me. Now I'm feeling more weak. That was my fourth night. And then I, I, I just talked to myself that um, there's only one thing that it can save me, save me. I need to urinate to drink in my urine. It was a difficult moment because I was said, no, I can't, I can't drink it. I need to pull out the, 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 the vest that I was having under my, 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 my top that I was wearing. I just put under me and then I just run it there and then I just squeeze it so for me to be able to, 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 to survive. That hard decision was a matter of life and death. The latter for Lindiwe was not an option. I was thinking, I was thinking about my child. I said, my child is it's two years, two and, and eight months now. My God, how is she going to survive without the mother? without the mother. At the time I was searching the phone, I wanted to write the message to say my, to my younger brother, please take care of my child. Um, take care of my child, make sure that she grows and then you take it to school, you do the best. While many won't have the opportunity to see their loved ones again, Lindiwe and her family are thankful for a second chance at life. Adoria Chumba, Lagos.